Hello and welcome back to Battle Brothers Recent Exploration with me, Barden. Okay, so... We have this one, secured the uh, Bleach Bones tomb. We'll accept the contract. And then... We'll leave. So where is Bleach Bones tomb? It's over there, okay. So let's get ourselves there. Speed up a bit. Okay, we don't know what's in there, so we're gonna wait around until it's done. Let's get in. Okay, so tombstones fall over as a group of Nashais that clamber over them. They appear to have been having something of a feast, a few of them still gnawing on this arm or that leg, presumably the limbs of your supposed grave robbers. Okay, well let's engage them. Wow, 20 of them, okay. going to be interesting with some of our mid-tier guys. Okay, now, Gustav, I think we go for the big dudes. Because I'm worried that he'll one-shot these guys, and then they'll he, we'll end up making more big guys. So instead, we'll go for any big guys. So two shots on him should be kill him, especially if we miss. Oh, that's not good. Even Ragnar apparently didn't kill them straight out. Oh, do you go for the big dude? Okay, so we made one extra big dude. Right, so you should be three away, but I'm afraid of Dietrich being on his own, so I know he should be over there for a better um, defense, but we're going to do that. And a better melee, I think, as well. So front row. Let's do this. Okay. There's the new big dude. Hmm, they're actually holding back. Okay, there's one coming forward. Okay, so... You're going to step forward, and you're going to do your swing. Okay, good. Yeah, so, we go forward. Okay, so, you go there, shield up. Ok, 
Okay. Side, so we're going to deal with that. Okay, looks like all the big guys are coming around this way. Chance you have to be 25. Let's go on the big guy. Okay, step forward. Over him. Okay, that was lucky. Oh wow! <laughs> nice, we got the chamber flat as well. That was a very, very happy occurrence there. Okay, good. They're not getting enough time with the bodies to actually eat them, which is great. Okay, and that's brilliant too. Not so brilliant. Ah, <laughs> he got himself killed. Nice. Okay. Okay, let's step forward. Oh, that was great. Okay, he's done. Right, you go after him. Let's get someone close to him as well. He can move in there, actually. And you're going there. Okay. You go there. So then he still gets a strike at him anyway, but at least you got both of them covered. Okay. Come over here. You there. You go for him. Okay. 
Take the pill. Yeah, can't shoot him at the moment. Let's go there. Nice. Go in that direction. Okay, excellent. Just this one dude to finish off. Put yourself in a position to hit him when he runs. Okay, there we go. So Wigmar killed 5, Gustav 2, Burke 2, Akmar 1, Ragnar 1, Otto 2, Ebrick 2, uh, Dietrich 1, Sigvald 1, and Himrad 2. Okay, we shall take all of that stuff as well, thank you. And then we get ourselves back over to here. Nope, need to unpause obviously. Check out the guys, so nobody leveled up. Still two guys missing. Sigurd the lucky suffers infected wound, but well, he's not that lucky then is he? Oh, we're not even moving. I mustn't have clicked like a fool. Okay, we get our crowns, thank you. We pop in here, so we have that in there as a possibility. That's a decent price now, we're gonna take a profit on that. Okay. Yeah, prices aren't too bad here at the moment. Gee, we're almost at 12 grand now. These kettle hats should be better for some more guys, shouldn't they? Yeah, it's better than what you're wearing. Actually, no, it gives less. It's the next level up on them, isn't it? That gives better. Gives the same protection and uh, less like negatives. Vision is only minus one, max fatigue I think is minus eight. So those two aren't quite as good. We've almost got it to the point where it's almost worth buying amber shards. We're not quite. Let's check here. Okay, as you enter Baron. Guido von Ravenholtz offers a group of men leave, they are knights, their scabbards clinking just beneath their garbs. Baron Guido von Ravenholtz welcomes you in. Don't worry about them. They're just wondering what happened to the last man I hired. You raise an eyebrow. The man waves it off. Oh, don't give me that shit, sellsword. You know the business as well as I do. Sometimes you guys fall short. And you know what that means. You say nothing, but after a pause, give him a nod. Good, glad you understand. If you want to know, they've got Queenskins out west of Grunhain. They've set up camp, which I presume hasn't moved since I last uh, sent some men there. Are you interested in reading them out for me? Well, how much is it going to pay? Rest assured that what I'm offering you is a fine price for your work. It's 64 crowns per head. You return with 20 heads at most. Another 1,280 when the job is done. You need to pay us more. Uh, 66 crowns, so that would be, if there is 20, which would be a big fight for us against Queen Skins. Um, and so that would be like 1300. So it basically double. I don't think that's worth it for that. You need to pay more. No, not close. Okay, 
So forget it. Sorry, but we're not gonna risk our guys for for that little money. Okay, and oh, here we are getting enough crowns to pay the cart maker for his work. It did cost you an arm and a leg, quite literally, in some cases. Now the proud owner of a new wagon, you're able to carry both more equipment and more spoils of war, be it silver, golden crowns, or half-torn and dice-filled gambersons of a random folk. <laughs> After traveling the first miles with the new wheels, you notice that Wigmar seems to be missing. Looking around, you eventually find him hiding behind some grain bags on the wagon, snoring away peacefully. Some cold water to the head and a boot to the butt quickly gets a sluggard back on his feet, and walking like the others. Still, you better make sure the men know their place. I want to value this. The way, the only way any one of the beasts will ever find himself on this wagon is carrying his own head under the arm. Be ever watchful and have your arms at the ready when we travel these lands. The man grumble and continue on. Okay, but most of them got in better spirits, it looks like. And we have more inventory space, which is going to be great. Okay, so let's get ourselves down here, see what's going on. Speed it up a bit. Okay, so crown wall, go to the market. Everything is, well, ammo is not bad, so let's get the cheaper of the ammo on. Um, on offer, then move down to here, speed up. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait for dawn. It's not gonna be that long to wait though. Okay, check the market, get some of that. Selling is not good here. Weapon Smith. Oh, they don't have the the axe we were after anymore. Okay. There are no contracts. We could get some more dogs. But I don't think we need to. So let's leave here. And go over to Sandfells. And then probably get up to uh, Tunstetten as well. Okay, we have a three skull one here. Check the market. Still expensive for that stuff. We can get some food though. It's at least reasonable for the cheese and the bread. Fletcher. Could get under a war bow. That'd be a good idea. Do more damage with our range, guys. I think so, so let's get another war bow. Then that's going to go to Ragnar, I guess. So you equip that. There you go, buddy. He's still out for probably three days. You can at least come back in. Now we should probably bring in the main guy, seeing as this is going to be a three skull. So wolf in for you. And Giselle in for you. Okay, so we've got Gustav, we've got Ragnar. Otto probably comes out for you. And then since we don't have him we might have them, and if we do, we put them back in, but 
for now we do that and then we see what this is all about Hartmut of Sandfeld sitting on his desk he sighs heavily damn peasants they're going on about dream stealers this dream stealers damn seems like a mountain of shit on my shoulders these days or a mountain range even the man takes a seat and pours himself a mug of ale he downs it quickly Three meters this, stalkers of the night that. Bah, absolute rubbish. Well, the fools put together a chest of coin, are willing to give it out for some protection. I want you to stick around a night or two and see if these supposed spirits are real. Or we just got some tricksters on our hands. Are you interested? Let's talk pay. So it's around two, just over two grand. You need to pay us more. Okay, um, now. These dream stealer guys are pretty tough. Let's accept and then I'm gonna I'm gonna seriously have to think about it because I'm not sure whether we want to do this or not. But um, that's it for now, so let's uh, end the video there and I hope to see you all next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.